Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, just wanted to do another quick video, uh, making this one for two different reasons actually. So, in ZBrush 2024 there is a new feature, uh, or some functionality rather, with the IMM brushes, which is, uh, an IMM brush is, for those who aren't familiar, you know, just one of these, uh, insert multi-mesh. And it allows you to drag out, um, Oh, let me make this apply mesh 3D. Allows you to drag out things like this. So what they've done is they've allowed this uh, type of brush to work with uh, all the stroke types. You'll notice that, well, it says it's a dot stroke, but it's it's not really. It's more like a drag rect, I think, at the moment. I'm not sure, but I, I just don't think it displays in 2022, which is what I'm on. 2022.0.8 which was the last update before 2023 and in 2024 they've added this so i was watching a video by michael pavlovich and he uh posed a question to people and i'm going to demonstrate it since i don't have 2024 i'm going to demonstrate it with a vdm um and also try to maybe help answer his question at the same time so uh let's let's do this uh let me grab this plane so I have this mask because I was making a VDM and just messing around, but I'll go into that in a different video. If you want to know how to make a VDM, your own custom one, uh, and if you don't know what a VDM is, it's like the chisel creature brush or, you know, the other chisel brushes where you can actually drag out an alpha that might have an underhang or, you know, overlaps and like crazy like more than just an alpha it's storing the entire mesh but anyways um so what he showed on there was the ability to um take the new functionality with the imm brushes and basically do this so if you come in here with a drag dot stroke this is a really cool way to use some vdms and i wanted to showcase that so um now if if you the one thing to note, like he mentions in his video, which I'll probably, with his permission, I might leave a link to his video in the description of this one. I'm not sure yet, but, um, so I'll just crank lazy smooth down. I don't need it, but you do need lazy mouse. Otherwise you're going to get this. I mean, maybe that, maybe you want this, uh, result in which case feel free to turn it off. Uh, you could always dynamesh that afterward and probably get something cool out of it. Uh, but for clean stepping, we'll do 0.2, and it's going to step, I think maybe, yeah, so that's like perfectly lined. Let's, let's go a little bit higher. Let's do like 0.4. Actually, let's go a little higher. Let's do like 1. Yeah, there we go. So you can see it's like, it's stepping <clears throat> at equal intervals. So his question was, can you make it taper? And I was thinking, well, I've done that before with uh, VDM. So the way that you do that is you would come into brush um, and tablet pressure, and then you can crank the, see by default, the Z intensity here is all the way up. Now for size, it's modifying the size by pressure right now. Um, so let's see if we can tell him, push really hard. Well, let me lock the camera so that doesn't happen. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm pressing really hard here at the end, and you can see not much of a change, but if I go to the Z intensity up here and pull this down, this is gonna say this is saying basically when I press uh, lighter with the pin, don't give me as much Z intensity. And since I have the intensity at 100, let's see what happens now. So this would, this would be a stroke with my mouse, okay? So if I hold shift and do the lazy mouse thing, it's, you know, they're gonna be equal sizes, of course. But now if I press really hard and then lighter, you see how it's fading off. So it is tapering. And I just, I wanted to show you guys this because I think this is a really handy way to use VDMs. Um, like this is, there's so much potential here and you could even make it like, you could even make a VDM out of this, like, 
and I'm wondering, actually, I was getting a more drastic result with uh, my custom VDM, and I'm not sure why that is, but I'm going to go to it real quick. Chisel scales, and let's just adjust this down again, and we'll crank the lazy mouse. Uh, let's leave the lazy step where it is. So by default, drag rect. Yeah, it is a drag rect. Okay, so let's change that to dots, which is now possible in 2024 with an IMM brush, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, let's let's go up on the lazy step here. So yeah, I can get a more drastic taper there, and this is super cool. Like I, I really like this. I really like this functionality. So maybe if I set the Z intensity not to 100. No, that's just going to affect that. All right. So it, you probably want to leave it at 100. Uh, you can play with it, see what you can find out. But so, uh, Michael Pavlovich, if you see this video, um, tell him I'm curious to know if this is possible with the new IMM functionality because everything else that you mentioned, such as having lazy step at zero, seems to be the same. As far as if you, you know, you start dragging it, there's going to be one and then one at the end. So you need to have something in lazy step, essentially. So, yeah, I'm very curious to know. But guys, uh, you know, if you have some VDMs, uh, try, try the dot stroke and mess with um, even roll distance. Try messing with roll distance. See what that does. I'm not sure how that would affect it uh, or if it would. Let's. Oh, yeah, look. It kind of gives you the same effect. That's a little bit nasty, though. Yeah, it's causing a little bit of artifacting in there. So, yeah, maybe not the roll distance, but I don't know. Play with it and try it out. And... That's interesting, though. Very cool. Um, But, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to throw that out there uh, real quick so you can come in here with your vdms and get some very cool variation in the size using lazy mouse and the dot stroke and it might work with freehand as well let me check really quick i don't think those are too much different from each other oh yeah that's that's like repeating it a lot which is kind of a cool and you can see how it's tapering there a good bit and again uh just one last time the the steeper you have this curve the more that that's going to affect, you know, how small it gets, the less you press, uh, or, you know, how big it is, the harder that you press. And maybe uh, having size on as well. Yeah, size, you could probably adjust size a little bit. And it's probably also going to uh, take your brush. Yeah, it is going to take your brush size into account here. So, so if I press really hard, yeah. You can actually see it tapering there. And this is, I mean, this is not ideal, like, right off, but you could dynamesh that and then have a really cool, like, lump scale thing. Or just actually just make a pattern like this and get some cool, like, uh, gill or something that would repeat type organic shapes. It's anything, really. All right. I won't uh, go on about it, but... Hope you guys get something out of this. Peace.